Welcome to the video podcast, voted one of the best in the marketing research industry in 2019 and again in 2020, and this year designated by Feedspot as one of YouTube's very best locations to go to for market research news. This is Research Business Daily Report. We're seen most Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, presenting a news item that most likely you have not seen or heard before. We do rely on viewers' support, and we'll talk to you about that at the end of today's RBDR. I'm Bob Lederer, and I'm in my 27th year as the respected voice in market research. A few weeks ago, here on RBDR, we posed the issue of price elasticity and brand equity as two things, two elements of consumer brands during the current inflation that's besetting the world. We felt it was pertinent because many companies had unabashedly crowed to Wall Street analysts here in the United States about admitted audacious price increases and their belief, based on sales, that consumers were readily accepting those inflated prices. We have no definitive product data to reference tonight. However, at first blush, it would seem that many brands have shown relative price inelasticity as comparatively large consumer price changes have not impacted sales with their everyday customers. However, that inelasticity may require a reevaluation as of the here and now because of a pronounced turn in consumer behavior. A study from Morning Consult is out. It's called U.S. Supply Chains and Inflation, and it ominously is subtitled, Consumers are growing increasingly price conscious as inflation's grip tightens. The study reveals that in April, quote, high prices deterred more purchases and led consumers to pursue cheaper substitutes. And explained in the study is this, quote, from March to April, four of the five supply chain indexes of consumer inflation pressures increased. But the biggest increase of the five was for price sensitivity. For the vast majority of all the goods and services tracked by Morning Consult study, a growing share of consumers either delayed or abandoned purchases as a result of higher than expected prices. You need further evidence? Purchasing behavior in April showed increased trading down to less expensive alternatives, especially when it came to services and discretionary goods. Morning Consult study stated that from a macro perspective, quote, even if monetary policy measures to tame inflation are successful, already high prices are likely to remain elevated for some time. Brands can test price elasticity using questionnaires, focus groups, or small-scale experiments in certain markets. Kind of happens pretty regularly, but companies rarely experiment with extreme price changes. And yet the severity of consumer brand price hikes that have taken place and that didn't need to take place to the levels they have, if Morning Consult is correct, brand relationships with consumers expressed in their purchase power are well worth watching for the foreseeable future. That is a wrap on today's Research Business Daily Report. As we mentioned at the start of today's RBDR, we'd love you to become a supporter of ours, what we call an RBDR Patreon supporter, which means agreeing to provide a monthly contribution, the size of which is entirely up to you, and no amount is too small. You can visit our exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com RBDR, and when you get there, select whatever level of support works for you and that you believe we deserve. Whatever that may be, we thank you. We hope you have a good research day, and we'll be back here on Friday and look forward to welcoming you back. Until then, please enjoy yourself, and even more so, stay safe.